So, so you're a long haul truck driver, and you go uh, all over the U.S. or where we we uh, the company I work for is uh, they uh, got 48 states on the. You know, they, they, they're allowed to operate in 48 states, you know, but uh, most companies that have 48 states, don't, they don't do 48 states, you know. Uh, like, we go from what, Nebraska all the way to the East Coast, you know, and everything in between now. Uh, there's certain states that, you know, we go to that uh, have pretty good flood freight, you know. Uh, for what we do, we okay. do a lot of oversized loads. So uh, most companies go where they, you know, make the most money, make the get the best freight. In other words, you know. Okay, so you drive the big eighteen wheelers, the big okay, mm -hmm. okay, okay. So anytime y'all see uh, these trucks with these big oversized loads going down the highway, yeah. Um, Y'all kind of, you know, uh, give us a little road courtesy, you know. I was going to ask you how, um, you know, how was it with other motorists, you know, driving on the, you know, road. I know me. I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anybody really likes to be behind a truck or. <laughs> well, you know what? Um, um, when we're going down the highways, it's very seldom you see us in the left lane, you know. Uh, that's true, that's true. Uh, and if you see our signal light on, uh, trying to get to the left lane, what we're mainly trying to do, we're trying to get ahead of somebody in front of us. But as soon as we, you know, get that clear path, we get right back over. Uh, yeah. Know? So, I mean, if y'all can accommodate us for just a few seconds, but, we, but we would really appreciate it. <laughs> But do you notice that people kind of zoom up and yeah. don't let oh. you out? All, all day, every day. You know, I notice that. You know, and that's, you know, um, let me let me tell America something. Uh, you know, uh, y'all give us a bit of respect, cause if it wasn't for us, America would be at a standstill. If it wasn't for truckers, America would be at a standstill. You, you all would be going to get your food in a horse and buggy. <laughs> really, <laughs> really, really. Yeah, you all would be, you all would be cooking on a on a wood burning stove. <laughs> you, you're right. You're, you're right. right. You're absolutely right. No nail salons. <laughs> no toilet tissue. <laughs> Seriously, you know. Uh, uh, Makes sense. That's that's true. That is true, though. I know. mean, we're, we're just as vital to America as doctors, nurses, policemen, firemen. Maybe even more. We are more important. Now that you're saying that. You know, so, you know. Okay, be kind to truckers, <laughs> right? <laughs> be courteous on the road. Because yeah, we're going to be courteous to y'all, you know. Okay. Well, how long have you been driving these trucks? Well, uh, I drove six years when I was in service. Uh, I've been driving here, uh, out here in the free world since 2004. So, you're talking uh, about, how many years <laughs> Six. Since 2004, so You're that's about, about 10 six, years, huh? About, well, in all, this is 2014. Years, but you started in the army, right? About 16 years. I got oh, years okay. in the service. Oh, so you were years. driving in the service. Oh, okay. 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 So I, I was going to ask, you know, why did you choose to, to be a truck driver? But I, I guess it was something you had done before and you obviously like driving, huh? Well, uh, to tell you the truth, uh, when we were young, uh, living in Moorhead, uh, you remember all the trucks used to come down <laughs> in front of the house? Yes. Okay. And that's where I got my first taste of trucking. You know, 
when I used to see those trucks go down. And they go, toot, toot, as they go. Because <laughs> they used to do that. Exactly. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, that's been with me. To, to tell you the truth, I've done a lot of things. Uh, but all I wanted to do, ever wanted to do in life was drive a truck. Okay, well, wow. Well, I'm glad you... See, there's something you learned about me. That's all I ever wanted to do, you know. So you you never knew that, huh? Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> <That's my wife. laughs> well, he never told me. Well, I mean, and to tell you the truth, it's not many people in the world, not only America, but in the world, that can actually say with a straight face that they love their job. That's true. You know, but most truck drivers, we love our job. You, know, you guys must do to get out there and do those long hauls. It, it is a challenge every day. You meet new people, interesting people. You know, uh, you get to see things that you've never seen before. You know, uh, you get to visit places that you would probably never have visited before. You know, you get to learn things that, you know, actually amaze some people. You know, so it's an experience. Okay. Well, one of the things. Well, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna come back to that. One of the things I was gonna ask you was, you know, tell me some of the things you've seen on the road. But I, I'll get back to that later. Um, <clears throat> so uh, I imagine it gets lonely out there though sometimes, oh, huh? Oh Lord, it, you know. I mean, it, it, you you meet people. You're around people, but I mean, it's not the same as being with my wife or being with my family. It's, it's just not the same, and it's lonely, you know. And you know, I, I try to tell my wife that, and you know, uh, I don't know. Uh, some people are up under the impression that it's an it is an adventure, but it's a lonely adventure, you know. If you don't have the person that you really love out there sharing those experiences, then it's just it's just a an experience. It ain't you know. Uh, I take a few pictures, you know, with different things in different places, you know. But uh, I would just love to have my wife in those shots, you know. Okay. Well. <clears throat> well, does your wife ever go on any of the trips with you? I know sometimes. You know, if they can, they take their spouses. But yeah, we 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 have in the past. You know, uh, uh, <laughs> when I, when we first got together, you know, she went to Kansas with me. <laughs> but there was <laughs> that was an experience that she she wasn't used to being on the road. You know, and uh, uh, you know, she wasn't used to the, the food. So yeah. what what was that experience like, uh, Miss Gale? Uh, <laughs> it was it like living on the range or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, it was nice for for a couple of days, but after a couple of days, you get burnt out. Yeah. Yeah. I was ready to go home. Okay. <laughs> ready to go home. What do you do for, uh, uh, you know, you're out there for a week or two or whatever. I mean, do you uh, rent a hotel room, you know, or do you, do you have one of these trucks that has your it's bath there. and all of that oh, in there, no. shower and whatever? No, uh, no, those trucks are really nice. Uh, but it's, you know, not too many people have those. Those are really expensive. And uh, I have a truck with, with a sleeper, you know, with a bed, mm. uh, you know, storage areas. Uh, I got a television, a DVD player, you know. Um, uh, I need a microwave, but, you know, the, the truck I'm in, it, it ha doesn't have that much space where I can just throw a microwave back there. Uh, got a laptop, you know, a printer, 
uh, oh, Wi-Fi, okay. okay. Wi-Fi hotspot. Um, when I pull in the truck stops, you know, usually uh, I'm looking for a red box where I can go rent me some movies, you know, uh, cause not every place you pull into, you can uh, get the, uh, you know, uh, television stations, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, uh, most truck stops got uh, lounges, truckers lounges, where you can go watch television, but you got to watch whatever they're watching there now. Yeah. You know. Uh, in the past, I used to have uh, direct TV, you know, where I could pull up and get my, uh, my dish ain't right and put in the DVD TV uh, channels, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't have that right <clears throat> now. Uh, but that's basically about, about it. So when you get ready to take a shower, do you do that at the truck stop? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Now, if I'm set somewhere, if I got to set with somewhere for four or five days, then, you know, I'll go get a hotel. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, now, in your travels, um, do you find that people are different in different... Well, well, you mainly are in one area, though. You said Midwest. Midwest or is it East Coast. Okay. Uh, so, do you find people are different in the different areas, or are people basically the same? I know every area kind of has its own flavor, but yeah, that's true. Uh, are people friendlier here or there? Or? Well, uh, the people I deal with on a daily basis, you know, they're, they're trucker friendly. You know, and I've met people that was outside the industry, you know, that would go out of their way to, you know, to, to help us out. Uh, I was in Louisiana one time and I took a wrong turn and I had this oversized load and I came up on this uh, railroad overpass. So I had to pull off cause I know I couldn't get up on it. So, and I'm sitting down, you know, trying to figure out, and this uh, white guy uh, pulled up and I'm on the phone with, with the owner of the truck and you know, we batting it back and forth, and uh, when I got off the phone, the guy asked me, well, uh, how tall are you? And I told him how tall I was, and he said, well, you, you're not going to make that, you know. He said, but uh, you can turn around right here and uh, go back and uh, 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 it's a way you can get around this, you know. So now... After he told me that information, and after I turned around, uh, he said, uh, hop in the truck and, you know, and I'll take you and show you the way, you know. Now, this guy didn't know me from Jack the Ripper. <laughs> yeah. You know, and I'm a black guy at that, you know. Yeah. Uh, and, 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 and where was this? This is in Louisiana. Okay. Way back, <laughs> way back in, in, you know, Louisiana. And, uh, but this guy took me, showed me the way, brought me back to the truck and rode, and rode in front of me and got me out, got me where I needed to go. Okay. You know, so now that's, that's just one example, you know. Okay. So okay. People, people generally, uh, truck are friendly, you know. Well, that's good. That's good. So, okay, so do you, <clears throat> so then you don't really, well, Louisiana's the South. Mm-hmm. So do you, do you find that people are friendlier, though, in the South than in, say, the Midwest or, Every, you know, people say that, you know. that. <laughs> everybody that I deal with is, is the same. Mm-hmm. You know, it's no. In the trucker's world. It's no more or less. You know, okay. No. Oh, now you got some. <laughs> I mean, you got some not so friendly people everywhere you go. You know, and it all That's just about equals out. You know, so. Okay, okay. But what about the food? Well, um, <laughs> now sometimes I, I, I got to tell you, uh, sometimes I run in some some delicious food. You know, 
Uh, most truck stops, they don't. <laughs> I mean, they just have a standard fare, you know. Uh, they, they have something basics. to eat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's a couple of, couple of truck stops, the Flying J and the TA. You know, I done went through their menus, you know, so. Uh, well, where do you find this good food then? Uh, it, it, Different restaurants or something yeah, you might stop it, in? It all depends. Uh, See something on the side. Of I was in Pennsylvania and I was deep in the, you know, in the, I guess the back country of Pennsylvania. And I went to this auction house to pick up a load and they wouldn't load me that day. So I asked to drop my trailer there and I asked the guy, uh, anywhere around him where I can, you know, get something to eat in Walmart. He said, yeah, so he directed me from Pennsylvania. I had to cross into West Virginia, which is, you know, right next door. Mm -hmm. But he said, go up to this, uh, this, uh, this barbecue restaurant called DJ's. Said they got some good, you know, some good barbecue there. You know, and the Walmart is right next door. You know, so you get tips about food, but I mean, you can find some, wow, you can find some good food out there, you know. It's a place, it's a place right outside of Atlanta. Uh, a little old, <laughs> this is one of those, like the, uh, like the, the, the little trucks, mm -hmm. or the little, these black people got this little, uh, it's sort of like a travel trailer combination, you know, where they serve food at. Mm -hmm. But they got some delicious barbecue down. Oh, okay. Know. Where was that at? Outside of Atlanta. Atlanta, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I mean, well, now, I know in Louisiana now, you... you oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when, you, when, when you're going home, when you're going home down I-10, mm -hmm. uh, just the other side of that 18-mile long bridge... Yeah. Uh, it's a, a town called Gross Tete, something like that. But it, they got they got signs up uh, saying the, the Tiger Truck Stop. Oh, okay. Stop in there. They, where they got live, the live tigers at? Stop in there and eat. Live tigers? Yeah, they got, they got it says tiger a couple of live, up. yeah, they got a couple of live tigers out there in cages. Wow. Mm -hmm. I hope they never get loose, huh? <laughs> uh, but stop in there and eat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, baby. I need to take one of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But they got some good Cajun food. Oh, they have good food. Ooh. They got the fried crawfish. You hear that, Larry? Tiger Where's trucks. Tiger thing? truck stop. Oh, uh, uh, right before you get in the. Uh, is, is it the, after going, after we cross the bridge? You cross, when you're going east, after you cross that bridge, is maybe the next, next uh, get off. Maybe one after that. But, okay. We we'll uh, have to check tiger. that out. We we'll have to go check the truck you're stop sure out. You sure you weren't just hungry now? No, <laughs> I've been, been in there several times. Oh, okay. I've been in there several times. Okay, thanks for the tip. <laughs> Tiger truck stop. They got some good Cajun, and they got the black women back there cooking. They got some good food in there. Okay. Well, I know Louisiana. Good they can cooks. cook in Louisiana. Some good cooks. <laughs> so now, um, I, I know you've seen lots of things, you know, on the highway. But what are some of the unusual or noteworthy things you've seen? I mean, have you seen any gigantic pileups or any weird cars, vehicles, or <laughs> or people? Or <laughs> they got a stretch of highway in Pennsylvania, I eighty, uh, and this is going through the Appalachian Mountains. Um, and it's got a couple of areas up there that's really, you know, uh, fault from, you know, and I'm talking about really, really kind of dangerous fault. Uh, and then in one of time, it's a really dangerous stretch of highway. Uh, it was winter when I was coming through there. As a matter of fact, but now, uh, those eastern, uh, eastern and midwestern states are, 
they are really good about keeping their highways clear, you know, keeping mm -hmm. it, you know. Uh, but I was coming through there one day, going, I think I was going to, I want to say I was going, uh, what was I going? I might have been going to Maryland, I don't know. But anyway, on the, I was going east, and on the westbound side, they had a pileup. Uh, and they must have had about 75 trucks with small vehicles Ooh. in in the mix, you know, and they was just piled up. And I, I mean, this was uh, five, three or four or five miles piled up. Ooh. And you seen all these trucks jackknives roll over, smashed up against each other, and that was um, that was the most. Now, was that due to the fog, or was it icy, or? Well, you know what? Um, it really, it could be either one, or it could be both. You know, when you in the winter time. And it was winter time. Yeah. Okay. In the winter time, you really need to be on your P's and Q's, uh, and you know most truckers. Up in that area, we know how to drive on, on in bad weather. Mm -hmm. You know, because I've been in some, I have been in some, excuse my French, some hellacious winter weather. You know, I've been running from storms, you know, snowstorms. You know, where the roads was just, you know, they hadn't got around them, the clearing them, and they were just, you wouldn't believe it. You know. So you 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 know how to handle that snow on the road, huh? Well, yeah. well, do the trucks have snow tires? I mean, chains or anything like that on the the wheels? Well, when they really want you to have chains on is when you in the, going in the northwest, or when you going uh, up in the mountains. That's when they okay. want you to have snow chains on. You know. Uh, I, I I have I mean I've run chains before uh, when I was in the service, but since I've been out here, I've never had to put chains on. Okay. But if you're going up up like through the Northwest, Utah, Colorado, uh, Idaho, Oregon, those areas, you really need them. You okay. Know, in the winter time. Okay. Okay. Now I've I've <clears throat> I've I follow you on Facebook, so I know that you post a lot of uh, pictures out there, you know, from your travels, and I, I've seen some really, I think, unique ones. Specifically, that one uh, with the more uh, was it Amish. Uh, Amish, yeah. <laughs> 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 with the horse and buggy, you know, <laughs> sitting in the middle of, you know, modern, <laughs> the modern world. That was, that was pretty striking. So, so what are you using to take these pictures with and, and, and how do you, are you taking them as you go by or? <laughs> Most of, yeah, uh, when you see those scenic shots, like uh, the ones, you know, with the, I don't know if you, you've seen those. You know, uh, like of the landscape. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, I'm I'm usually shooting out the out of the uh, the windshield. So what are you using? Your iPhone? Your yeah. okay? Those <laughs> boy, those small smartphones are pretty good. Yeah. Uh, they 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 uh they have some pretty pretty amazing shots. You know, I got some pretty amazing. As long as I got my windshield clean though, I can get some pretty amazing shots out of them. You know. Nah. I get the feeling you you you're kind of uh, enjoying uh, you know being a bit of a photographer there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what? This, this is for my wife benefit. You know, uh, for my benefit. I mean, for you know, I like to show Facebook and my wife and my family. You know, about certain areas I've been. You know, and uh, you know, just to, I don't know, share it. Yeah. 
Um, well, that's good because I, I, I do enjoy looking at them. So uh, I have one question for uh, for your wife. And uh, I mean, how is it for you, you know, with your husband being a trucker and he's gone quite a bit? Uh, what do you do with yourself or to occupy your time or how do you handle the, the loneliness? I am working. <laughs> working all the time. Okay, so you do you do a lot of work. I work a lot. I'm working all the time. Just to <laughs> stay out of trouble. <laughs> no, just I'm working most of the time. Okay, so you cope by working. Yeah, it's hard, but yeah, he knows it's hard. Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's hard. You know what? Um, but, but, you know, he's working and it has to be done, so I know it's not going to last forever. Yeah. Okay. All but right. I'm coping. <laughs> I'm okay. coping. Hoping and coping. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, that was pretty much what I had. Did, did you want to add anything, any last statement, a wrap up for? No, that pretty much covers everything. Uh, just, y'all watch out for us. <laughs> give us some good courtesy. Okay. Uh, we give y'all the courtesy when, when y'all pass us and your kids in the back seat. Come on. <laughs> we, do, we do blow our homes because we like that. You know, I, I used to be one of those kids. Yeah, you know? they, they do do that. Yeah. They love it with the trucker, you yeah. know. <laughs> exactly. I remember I used to do that. I actually saw some grown folks yeah. going by. <laughs> yeah, they still, they still do it. This, this, this lady passed, passed by me uh, about a week ago. They was from New York. They had New York tags on their on they vehicle. Black lady, and she passed by me. <laughs> <laughs> I blow that lady. <laughs>